Uh, welcome to a uh, update uh, via the Force 13's uh, AU uh, channel. My name is uh, David Tones. I'm located here on the east coast of Australia. And uh, I also have uh, one of our new members, uh, Lachlan, uh, who is a couple of hours from my location. And uh, we are going to cover the uh, severe weather activity currently impacting on South Australia, uh, Tasmania, and also uh Victoria and mm. you know, I'm going to open up uh, the various uh, websites and lock on what does one say about the uh, the satellite uh, imagery of uh, the Australian uh, continent? Uh, we're looking at uh, quite a bit of uh, uh, cloud activity, convection, uh, looking from, uh, let's say, uh, Indonesia, the Philippines, uh, across the Pacific, uh, and then south uh, down across the uh, top end of uh, Australia. Uh, you can see the massive... Uh, uh, cloud activity over the Indonesian uh, West Java uh, regions, uh, Christmas Island, the Cocoa Islands, and then you see the cloud uh, coming across the uh, top end of Australia, across the Northern Territory, down uh, the southeast, sorry, the southwest corner of uh, the Gulf of Carpentaria, across uh, Cape York, down through central Queensland, out uh, to the east of uh, the Australian continent. And then uh, we uh, pan down to the bottom half of Australia and boy what does one say about this severe low pressure system that has actually seen uh, records uh, set and uh, I was uh, talking uh, off air about this uh, weather system impacting uh, South Australia uh, one and a half uh, centuries uh, weather event so Lachlan, your thoughts? Uh, well even though I've seen the image so many times it's still overwhelms me like because I have not seen something of such intensity ever in obviously the three years of a short period but still it's it's quite an intense system in and definitely going in my books for intensity um, but uh, this system as impressive as it looks it's it's also extremely dangerous um, the thunderstorms up in the uh, uh, eastern side they cause the, the well that that trough did actually uh, black out all of South Australia so that just gives you an idea of how big and dangerous this system is so yeah pretty, all I could pretty much say is that uh, other than that I have not much else to say other than I'm speechless in some ways well, uh, going by the uh, reports that I have uh, uh, seen, uh, starting off with the uh, massive uh, impact on one of uh, the South Australia's uh, uh, high-voltage 
feed lines where Do you have the photos for that? Uh, what we'll do is uh, we uh, will try for the uh, photos in a uh, next update. Uh, okay. What we'll do is uh, focus on uh, the rainfall and also mm -hmm. what warnings are in place. So um, looking as we continue to look at the uh, satellite imagery and uh, not forgetting that uh, we're now at, uh, what's the time uh, uh, 20, uh, 26 uh, EST uh, you can see mm -hmm. the night time uh, setting in over the uh, the continent and what we'll do is I'll just go out and we will have a look at the latest 850 MB, I think that's correct, uh, vorticity for the East Australia region. Now, over the uh, the decade that I've been uh, following the Australian uh, weather scene, I have never seen this sort of uh, shot image. You could see. Uh, one low pressure system which is uh, over South Australia tracking east according to the latest uh, from the, uh, the weather bureau and what I'll do I will bring up I'll just have a quick look at the uh, weather bureau's uh, high seas forecasts uh, we have a low pressure system a 980 uh, HPA near 36 south 142 east uh, forecasted over the next uh, 12 hours to uh, rise to 988 and be located near 34 south 144 uh, that is one low and there's also a cold front from 28 south 150 to 32 south 153 39 south 150 42 south 144 east 41 south 138 east 38 south 136 east uh, there's also another low like uh, located near 44 south 150 which is a 989 hpa uh, we also have a trough on 42 south 144 east 47 south 144 east and 50 south 146 we uh, also uh, have a cold front uh, we're low 2 which is a 989 we have Winds turning clockwise within 600 nautical miles to low with speeds 20 to 30 knots in western and northern semicircles with 10 to 20 knots elsewhere. Winds tending in the north, north uh, corner 15 to 25 west of Ridge 2. Uh, we won't uh, uh, refer to the ridge uh, in this update. 
Winds increasing 25 to 33 knots within 120 nautical miles of warning area. And rain area Lachlan scattered showers, isolated thunderstorms within 240 nautical miles of lows. The cold from front and troughs. Uh, scattered showers, isolated thunderstorms remainder uh, rest of cold front and visibility reducing to below 2 nautical miles in uh, precipitation so with the uh, 850 uh, MB vorticity you can see the low over Victoria you can see the low uh, to the south of South Australia then you see the pink to the uh, west southwest of Tasmania and then you, there's another area of interest on the eastern side of Tasmania now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find, uh, bring up a couple of uh, tracks. Uh, the first one we'll have a look at is the GFS. And the GFS has the low, uh, which is... Uh, the scale in green which will probably be 980 it was around 975 and uh, that's increasing to 980 then up to 988 across the, uh, the forecast period uh, this information will be uh, updated by the, uh, the Weather Bureau around uh, 8 a.m. EST. And uh, this information that I'm referring to is extracted from the, uh, the Weather Bureau's High Seas Forecast page. And that is one uh, track for the the low pressure system then we come back to the UK Met and it is similar to the GFS now the UK Met I would uh, lend support to because the picture is a little bit clearer there's the uh, 29th and Lachlan they have it at 980 uh, that's about right yep and uh, because um, sorry about that buddy no internet. that's all right uh, because uh, some parts in Victoria um, have picked up uh, minimal minimum pressures as it's passed over. Um, or one of the lowest I've seen is 981.5 HPA, and this was at uh, 258 on Thursday in uh, Cummins, um, Charlton. Uh, uh, it's it only got down to about oh, 984.5 HPA. And that was at 18.10 Thursday. That was in Charlton. So it's still pretty intense. Yes, yeah, so what we'll do, um, I'll bring up the, uh, the rainfall uh, next and then we'll have a look at what warnings are in place. So just uh, re uh, recapping on the uh, UK Met uh, chart it's actually going to track east but it could dip to east south east I'd and say it's where your cursor is right now yep 
Uh, in our next uh, update, I will bring up uh, a plot in uh, Google Earth. I like uh, using the uh, Google Earth for plotting uh, low pressure. And it's going to be, it might end up just tracking east south east. So the next colour is, or what do you reckon that is, uh, dark green, so that would probably be one oh, about... Yeah, yeah, about 980s. Yeah, it'll probably be in the, uh, the 980s. Between 985 and 990. Then it, then it increases uh, the blue scale, which is 990. But uh, as this is the uh, Force 13's uh, Australia Channel's uh, first update, um, we will continue to uh, provi possibly provide uh, warning coverage. Um, also stay tuned to the uh, Force 13's extra uh, channel but yeah so you can subscribe to uh, the force 13 may chat the main channel the force 13 au channel the force 13's extra channel and um, there are ways that you can get in contact with uh, force 13 by uh, uh, having a look at their main website Force 13 AU also operates on the Twitter platform the Force 13 operates uh, Facebook pages uh, at this point in time uh, not for the uh, AU um, side of the uh, operation now, also, yeah, oh, yeah, go yeah. on. I was just going to say because you're obviously closing up, and uh, I had a few things I wanted to show. No, so. it's still, still going. Uh, okay, I am goodness. keeping an eye on the uh, the uh, the time factor, but uh, there is uh, a bit more that we can discuss. And uh, at this uh, stage, I'll say uh, there's no time restraints. So uh, whilst this. Uh, will be uh, uploaded uh, to the uh, AU channel. Uh, we couldn't end up uh, tomorrow, uh, Friday local time, uh, doing live uh, broadcasts. So Lachlan, um, mm. uh, you, um, uh, you uh, got the floor. Yeah, so I'll start sharing. Yeah, you can uh, you can do the screen share. I'll just uh, stop this one for a minute. And okay, um, fire it up. Yep. So if you, when you're ready, you've got you can bring up the screen share. Okay. Okay, now I've got the oh, RGF on this one. So whilst you're bringing it up, uh, this is Force uh, 13 AU. Uh, time is uh, 2039. Now, this is one of my uh, favourites. So, Lachlan, this is the, what is it, the EarthNet? No, it's actually changed the name because it was WinDT, but now it's WinDTV. Okay. Okay, yes, so what, what is it? What colour what color should I use today? I'll use pink. Um, yeah, so you've got that low there. Um, obviously, you've got your trough going up through here. Would that be the trough, would that be correct? Uh, yes, uh, I say the trough is there, but uh, in our next update or the uh, live broadcast, uh, I will bring up, as I mentioned uh, a few minutes ago, I'll bring up the uh, Google Earth, and I've actually plotted the uh, the low uh, uh, p the 
Lowe's path so far. So we're looking at the what is it? The win values. Yes, and uh, the interesting thing is, is uh, the actual centre is here. And it's no surprise because the inflow is through here. And I'm, can you see that clearly? Or is yes, it... it's come up very clear. Um, because of the inflow through here, it's enhanced all the already strong winds going into Adelaide and into the bay. I have, as I've said earlier, I don't know the name of for some reason. Alright. And I'm going right. to end. I'm going to end up remembering it sometime. Um, and yeah, so you've got there's enhanced winds for already battered South Australia. Um, and then you've got um, parts of Tasmania through here, and that uh, that is getting affected um, by these strong winds that are obviously coming down um, from the trough that's coming through. Um, with the main pressure being in here in the low, um, that's the wind speeds. Um, and oh God, what just happened then? This is the radar. This is a great image because um, you can see the uh, the rotation going around here. Um, obviously, the low is located somewhere in, in this area, um, and I'm assuming it's moving in that direction for now. Um, and then you've got your thunderstorms up the back here, um, or just rain at the moment apparently. Um, very um, intense rainfall. Well, not very intense, but fairly intense, I'd say. Uh, rainfall over Tasmania and then you've got your thunderstorms that run all the way through here if I zoomed out which I actually might do um. so while you're doing that Lachlan uh, what we're doing is uh, actually uh, using the um, uh, the weather zone uh, yes. uh, link and uh, uh, we're just uh, using that as a background. Uh, Lachlan's just uh, highlighting uh, the areas. And uh, then there's the front where the thunderstorms are. Um, obviously, the most intense here. Um, to the uh, southeast. Now. Mm hmm. Which these thunderstorms, if I'm not wrong, they wouldn't be the same thunderstorms, but it's the same trough that form the really big thunderstorms up through here, if I'm not wrong, because they pass through here. Um, and then fired back up through the day in here with the remaining energy they had. Yeah. All right, well, let, let's just uh, look at uh, South Australia, and uh, while you're doing that, I'm just going to... Uh, refer to uh, some of the uh, warnings uh, at 3.50 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time uh, the Weather Bureau uh, South Australia updated their marine wind warning for South Australia uh, for the uh, remainder of uh, today a strong that site a storm force wind warning is in place for the central coast, south central coast, the Spencer Gulf and the Investigator Strait. Uh, a gale warning is uh, in force for Adelaide Metropolitan Waters, Upper West Coast, Lower West Coast, the Gulf of St Vincent and Upper South East Coast. A strong wind warning is uh, current for the far west coast and for Friday a gale warning uh, will be in place for the Adelaide metro waters, the lower west coast, the central coast, south central coast, the Spencer Gulf, the Gulf of St Vincent and the upper south east coast and strong wind warning for the Upper West Coast, Investigator uh, Strait, Lower South East Coast. That is the latest uh, marine wind warning and the next uh, advisory uh, update at 5.10am tomorrow. And at 3.55 we have a road weather alert in place for Adelaide. 
and we have a initial minor flood warning for the Gorda with a catchment issued at 513 pm a minor flooding is expected along the North Power River from Thursday minor flooding is also expected in the Gorda River in the Gorda Township overnight Thursday and into Friday morning the South Power River may reach minor flood levels late tonight and uh, we also have a uh, initial uh, minor flood warning for the Torrens River. I can remember the old uh, Popeyes uh, that uh, could still be on uh, the River Torrens. And uh, the uh, Bureau issued uh, that uh, 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 advisory at 3.40pm. Uh, minor flooding is occurring in the Upper Torrens River and minor flooding might occur in the Middle Torrens River. Uh, we have a moderate flood warning for the Okapanwinga River. A flood watch is in place for the Mid-North, Mount Lofty Ranges, the Adelaide Metropolitan Districts. And that was issued uh, just before midday uh, today. And we also have uh, a flood warning for the Light and Wakefield Withers, the Angus, Argus, A N G A S, the Bremer River. And uh, top priority uh, severe weather warning for destructive winds and normally hide. Tides is currently in force for the following areas Adelaide Metropolitan, Mount Lofty Ranges, Lower Air Peninsula, Eastern Air Peninsula, York Peninsula, Kangaroo Island, Flinders, Mid North, Riverland, Murray Lands, and parts of the West Coast, Northwest Pastoral and Northeast Pastoral Districts. And the Weather Bureau of South Australia. Um, We'll update that in a couple of hours from now, which is uh, 8.48. So for South Australia, uh, Lachlan, the warnings uh, clearly indicate that uh, they mm. really have a history-making system. Exactly. Agreed. Then, uh, we have uh, uh, a shot uh, from the, uh, the Weather Bureau, and uh, that is for the wind speed. Is it wind speed and direction? Yes. And, yes. We'll just, uh, and pressure. And you can see the... Uh, the severe area, which is in red. So, have you got any plus. other... Yep, go on. Oh. Um, well, I was going to say, uh, well, uh, when I pulled up this map, especially with the MLSP, something that interested me was there's a, a low pressure area here that you've got the dominant low here. Um, and then you've got a little low here, which obviously, you know, but, and then you've got this other low here. So that's obviously contributing to the clouds doing that, correct? Well, I won't dismiss it, and uh, <laughs> what I did cite was uh, possibly two lows <laughs> uh, trying to dance around each other. And I yes. think it's a Fuji uh, Roa effect. Yes. And it's something I, I have never say. seen uh, down uh, to the south of uh, Adelaide. Mm. But unfortunately, from uh, what I've read, what I've seen, what I've heard via the uh, local media, it's not good. And look at that 
Well, as I was Eight saying Eight earlier, Eight. Seven Eight. island, what is seven? island, seventy. This is seventy kilometers per yep. hour um, plus, uh, and these are all the little islands that are being uh, completely forgotten about in terms of wind, because the wind is just blowing across as if they weren't even there, and uh, they're, they're, yeah, they're. No one, I actually don't know. I'll probably have to find something along the lines of that. Um, actually, I might. They might have. Um... No, wait. Oh, it's... Um, I'll get back to that. So we're looking at the weather zone. Uh, uh, Met I. Yeah, oh, the Met I, now the weather zone. Well, yeah, now it's back to Metai because uh, I kind of gave up. Um, although I might, um, unless um, maybe, wait, uh, they might have it. I do have it bookmarked. Um, and actually, I'll just open up a new window for that, actually. Yeah, I think I might have lost. Port linkages. You. Yeah, you did cut out Lockton, but we'll. Oh, look at the Port Lincoln, nine point seven Celsius, and that. The pressure and, is higher than Melbourne. Yeah. I mean, I'm um, Adelaide. That's a surprise. But uh, wind speeds are fifty kilometres per hour, um, which is quite a surprise. But uh, compared to where is it? Uh, Cummins also, as well as a low pressure, they also got a ridiculously high wind gust, um, which uh, jumps from uh, sustained wind speeds of 56 kilometers per hour to wind gusts of 69 kilometers per hour, all the way up to sustained of 87 kilometers per hour to 115 wind gusts kilometers per hour. And that was as this system passed over. Um, and that was, uh, what, what time was that, uh, 258, uh, the pressure was at 981.5 HBA. So, obviously, uh, commons and places around that area, uh, obviously, like, um, obviously, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, uh, Neil... Um, and obviously Charlton as well, um, they didn't get the winds, but they definitely got the pressure. But obviously around Cummins in general, they probably did get some well, similar conditions earlier this morning, if I'm not wrong, um, like really high wind speeds, because that's what the system's been uh, chucking around the place. But uh, the main thing is, is that Melbourne, uh, Melbourne, why do I keep saying that? Um, Adelaide, um, has been hit by those thunderstorms yesterday, and uh, now that they're getting the back end of his system, um, the yeah, I think they, they don't need it. I think we are having uh, technical issues uh, with your audio uh, uh, lockdown, but what I'll do, mate, uh, we might. Uh, Bring up my um, screen share again, sure. and, and uh, we'll uh, switch over to the rainfall. And that yes, is that's exactly uh, from what the BSCH uh, site, uh, stormcast.com.au. And mm. uh, uh, this is uh, a outstanding site. And you can see the uh, rainfall. These are in uh, three hour blocks. And yeah. that this is 4 p.m. Uh, today, and then we'll come up to 7 p.m. And we're looking at uh, so orange is higher, if I'm not wrong. Am I right? Uh, yes, uh, there it is. There, so if you go back, 
um, to that last frame that you were showing before. All right, I'll just we're going back down to 1600 hours. Look at the rainfall over Tasmania. Yes. Okay. Now... And that area is affected by floods earlier this year. Yeah, or well, having referred to the uh, flood uh, warnings uh, in place for Victoria, this, uh, sorry, Tasmania, there's just no let up. Mm. So, and we come down, there you are, for 1600 hours, it's 36.7 millimetres. We come up to 1900 hours. There's another 26. Then we come up to 10 p.m. 2200 hours. Another 36. And you can mm -hmm. see where the activity is. And I think it's increasing over Tasmania. Yep. And then point. look at South Australia. Mm. All right. Now we come down to 4 a.m. Friday. And we're looking at uh, rainfall in a three-hour block, 21.4. So you can see... I am by now, if I'm not wrong. Um, actually, no, the lowest still there. I was going to say conditions will be easing, but I knew no. not if that low is still there. I, sh I should say that the uh, the weather bureau uh, a couple of hours ago, or it might be uh, longer than that, I did say that there's a second system uh, tracking in over South yes. Australia. Yes, um, I did see an article about that, didn't read about it, saw the title, and uh, yeah, so it's, yeah, mm, they're not getting a break anytime soon. And if this system coming through um, intensifies... Um, Hopefully not to the extent this system did, but um, if it does intensify, and it's a fairly significant system. Now, I'll just uh, pause on that uh, 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 shot. Uh, time slot uh, is at 10 a.m. to my, and you can actually see where the... Uh, activity is uh, tracking what we'll do uh, we'll have a look at the warnings for Victoria mm. okay severe weather warning uh, was in place but cancelled by the Victorian uh, office at uh, 1645 however whilst the immediate threat of uh, severe weather has passed the uh, situation will continue to be monitored. Then for the uh, marine uh, waters uh, wind warning, uh, a strong wind warning remains current for the Port Phillip East Gippsland coast. Uh, cancellation for the Central Coast Central Gippsland coast. And for Tamai, strong wind warning for the West Coast. And then we have a flood watch for the Greater Melbourne catchments, the Werribee, Marabalong, Yawa, Dandelong and Bunyip. And that was issued mm. at quarter past one their time today. Then we have a flood watch for the Ganilk Hopkins River, flood watch for North East Victoria, flood watches for the following Goldburn, Broken Rivers, Campisi, London, Avica, and Wimmera Rivers. We have a uh, flood warning for the Gnu uh, River, minor flood warning for the Kiowa River, initial minor flood warning for the Ovens, Kings Rivers, one for the Seven Creeks, Castle Creek, Broken Creek, Goldburn River, Campisi, River and London River. All these warnings are currently available on the uh, Victorian um, 
bombs uh, warning page and then we come up to uh, New South Wales severe weather <laughs> warning is now in place for uh, damaging winds for the following areas the Hunter Lower Western Pass in the Mid North Coast, the Central Tablelands, the Riverina Upper uh, Western Northern Tablelands forecast districts issued at 17.02. And uh, windy conditions continue for, for the Far West ranges in New South Wales Thursday and Friday. Now, synoptic situation. Uh, low pressure system currently over eastern South Australia will slowly move southeast tonight and during Friday, directing a vigorous northwest to southwesterly airstream across New South Wales. Uh, damaging winds averaging 50 to 70 kilometres with peak gusts in excess of 90 kilometres an hour, uh, expected in the far west on New South Wales. Uh, this afternoon evening as well as over the central north northern ranges and through the hunter districts affecting the uh, upper lower western the river parts of the riverina central tablelands hunter mid north coast northern tablelands isolated thunderstorms that could produce damaging wind gusts are also possible with this system in the these areas. Winds in the far west will east overnight as the low moves east, while uh, wild damaging winds are likely to persist for the central and northern ranges. So that is the latest on the uh, New South Wales uh, severe weather warning and it will be issued uh, another update uh, just after midnight uh, tonight. Then we have a flood watch for New South Wales, flood warning for the following areas, the Peel, no, Nam, oh, what is it? Nanomi, N-A-M-O-I, Macquarie River, Bogan River, Lachlan River, Murray Bitchy, the Murray River, the Coal Goa, Beaver, Baikawa, Naran, Rivers, Flood Warning remains for the Warrego River, Paru River, uh, the Barwon Darling River, US Burke, and Bilambula River, New South Wales. So uh, that's for. Uh, New South Wales, then back to the old rainfall, 1600 hours mm. tomorrow, uh, you can see, and then we come across to 7pm tomorrow night, and then we have 10pm tomorrow night, so that is a... Um, uh, Recap of uh, what is uh, taking place across South Australia, New South Wales, Victoria, Tasmania, and for here in Queensland, where the Bureau has in place a severe thunderstorm warning. Uh, which was updated at uh, just a couple of minutes before uh, 2000 hours. Severe thunderstorm remains in place for damaging wind, heavy rainfall, large hailstones for the central high and coal fields, the Capricornia forecast district. So as we um, now um, come to the end of our first update, uh, Lachlan, uh, what would you like to say in uh, review? Um, well, uh, other than the fact that this system is um, quite uh, 
fascinating in the way it's formed and everything. Um, I would like to say to anyone um, under any of the warnings mentioned before um, to take them seriously because um, anything could happen and uh, if you can do anything to prepare um, of any type, um, so, you know, get sandbags ready for flooding and all that, um, to, yeah, yeah, to block out water, um, and uh, just just be ready, and uh, just try not to do anything silly, because uh, it may cost you uh, not just money, but it may cost you your life. Um, so my main message is to take caution, um, as this system is very dangerous, and uh, that's pretty much all I could, I've got to say, just, just be careful. Okay, uh, thanks for your contribution, uh, Lachlan, and uh, as I said uh, earlier, stay tuned to the the, uh, Force 13's Extra and AU channel, and uh, in uh, closing, uh, currently on the screen, is uh, how one can get in contact uh, Force 13 outlets. uh, its website, uh, forum, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, you could, uh, if you've got Skype, add Phil13, Phil13, for tropical weather chats. So for now, uh, uh, cheers from. Uh, myself and Lachlan. <laughs>